Hi, this is Jennifer Runyon at Intersolar North America. And my guest right now is Manny Thathadri, who is a Senior Director with Cogenra Solar. Welcome. Thank you. Great. Great to have you here. So Co Thank Cogenra you. has a very interesting product. And um, because it's new, it's a hybrid PV and thermal product, I thought I'd have Manny um, explain it a little bit. So go ahead. How does it work? Yeah, so we are a one-axis parabolic trough. Uh, and uh, where the trough focuses, we have a substrate where there's PV cells, traditional monocrystalline PV cells that are bonded to the substrate. And uh, through the substrate, there are channels through which we pass glycol water solution, which extracts the, the heat. So where traditional uh, PV, CPV companies waste that heat and they try to dissipate that heat through passive cooling, we actually actively cool it with glycol and uh, water mixture and, uh, and extract that heat away. And, uh, and then we go ahead and monetize that heat through various different, for various different customers. And uh, so we have two revenue streams basically. One is uh, the PV stream mm -hmm. and then the heat stream. And until now on the, with the heat stream, we've been focusing mostly on hot water customers. Mm -hmm. So some of our marquee customers like Facebook, Kendall Jackson, uh, Clover that was announced uh, a few weeks ago, mm -hmm. uh, University of Arizona, they're all uh, for, for the hot water. Okay. And so it was PV and hot water. And, and then what we do with the heat next is, an, is, a, is the next step where we are. Yeah, and so then you're, you're changing your, um, you're changing your focus, of, or not changing necessarily, but... Um, you're adding to it. Yes. You're expanding the focus. Yeah. Uh, and yeah. you're going to solar cooling. Yeah, um, so uh, since we have PV, and PV is a separate thing, and we have solar heat. Uh, now that heat can be, you can do a lot of things with the heat. The lowest hanging fruit is to deliver that heat as hot water. Mm -hmm. And that delivers the highest economics and the highest payback and all that. But for customers where they need cooling, and cooling is very intuitive, uh, particularly solar cooling, because it correlates very well with the sun. Right, sure. Both on an annual basis and on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. So cooling is a very natural uh, way to apply this heat and cooling also offsets electricity. Right. So it's uh, so you can now look at peak peak time demand charges that you can offset uh, with this uh, storable uh, production of solar cooling. Yeah. So do you consider yourself a solar hot water or a solar thermal company with the added extra PV, or a PV company that just uses the heat in a better way? Uses the we heat are uh, first and foremost we are a, a PV a CPV company. Okay. Now, uh, so since we, we produce, uh, we capture the heat, what we do with that heat is, is, is what makes us, so until now, we've been delivering this heat as hot water. Mm -hmm. And that means that when we go to a commercial entity, and we, si so in that sense, we would size ourselves as to their hot water load. Right. So we were a solar thermal or a solar hot water company up until, uh, when, uh, as long as we focus on. But where we are going next, or where we are expanding to, is to solar cooling which means that we would be sizing to their cooling demand. Now, right. cooling demand in a lot of these commercial establishments are pretty massive. Mm -hmm. So the limiting factor is more the space availability or the roof, uh, land or roof. You're roof mountable as well. Uh, it's that that limits it. So we would essentially be uh, uh, a solar cooling company, and that produces another revenue stream of PV as well. All right. So, so great. And your yeah. target market is U.S.? Is other areas? Where, where do you want to be? So we've been around for three years now, mm -hmm. and uh, our uh, main focus has been U.S., and particularly in the U.S., we've been targeting California, Arizona, and Hawaii. Yep. Uh, but uh, since this year, we've pretty much gone uh, worldwide. We have, uh, we have our f uh, first installations, the pilot installations, in about five countries now. Mm -hmm. We've gone into India, we've gone into Italy, We've gone into another Eastern European country, Slovenia, okay. and then Central America and U.S. So we have now five countries worldwide and 30-plus uh, active projects, 20 of them uh, in production and uh, being installed or uh, uh, already installed. Right. And uh, that's been the, the uh, and we have been very careful in, in picking for each of uh, the solar hot water customers that we have in making sure that we have the first customer uh, are targeting various segments within the solar hot water market. Uh, and, uh, and the next step now is to do replicate the same process on the cooling side. Okay, good. And it's commercial size? Yes, so we are, we play only in the commercial markets. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, typically our customers are uh, 
or uh, in the food and beverage side, it could be wineries, breweries, uh, milk, clover milk, which mm -hmm. is a big organic uh, 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 dairy in, the, in California. Yeah. Uh, on the people side, we have university dorms, we have uh, uh, retirement facilities, we have the military, army, navy are all uh, evaluating our product uh, for, for all their uh, uh, barricades. Excellent. Uh, and, uh, and, uh, and at the same time, on the industrial side, we have an agricultural facility. We, our Italian installation is actually uh, for another industrial facility as well. Great. All right. Well, there, I still have many more questions for Cogenra, but I will follow the company and report on it as, uh, you know, as the answers come out. So thanks so much for coming out. Thank you. Thanks for this opportunity.